Right guys, I was just going to show you the problems I've got with the old ladder so as you can see for yourself what problem I had. Filming in a bit of a seedy alleyway. I know, I'm going to show this ladder um, and what's wrong with it in a minute. Right, that's the three section ladder and that can be set up. So that's the three section ladder. That can be set up as an A-frame. That's the extension piece which I need to do high hedges. So I just lean myself against on that top bit and reach over. Right, over the years, it's managed to lose all its end pieces. When I got on it the other day to use it, the rivet's probably getting too fat, Steve. Right, might be a bit of background noise, family's home, filming at home. The rivet's here. When I got on it, it did that, so it's on. Try and film it best I can. But basically, I can't force it back down, but it will go. There. When I got on the ladder, they gave out on both sides, so. Sorry about the noise. That side's gone as well, so it's only holding on one rivet. Um, yeah, and then the caps on the end are missing on both sides. So when you use it on somebody's ground as a single ladder, it obviously goes into the ground, cuts mud everywhere over their patios and stuff. So then I have to extra job of cleaning up. I would say that this ladder is probably, it was at Quitchell when I started and I was there for 20 years. And I've been gone a while, so it's, it could be 30 years old, this ladder. I don't know, it's old. But this part is still okay. But this part on its own isn't high enough to reach high hedges. But don't worry, a new one is on its way. But I don't know, I would still deem this part to be safe, but not high enough to reach. And I don't like working on a ladder because you need three points of contact, which you can get from the new ladders, but you can't get from these. And obviously I'm getting older, but none of those were the problem with the doing the job that I come off of the other day. It was purely that this ladder was by far nowhere near high enough. I'll put it up at full extension. Right, that is the ladder at full extension. Obviously you wouldn't have it up that straight. I'm in an alley, I'll probably pull it back a bit. A rubbish ladder is it doesn't have an indicator. Some of them have a, a level indicator on here, don't they? I've used them before. I've used a lot of ladders. I mean, I've been doing it for 34 years, but it's time to sort of retire this ladder, I think, uh, unless it's all right to use an A-frame, but the one I've got coming should, the ladder that's coming should 100% um, uh, re resign this one. The other one I've got, by the way, is this little one, but obviously it does all different shapes. I see a lot of little smaller gardening companies have them on the roofs of their cars and stuff, which is fine, fair enough. It does a job, but obviously it doesn't give you the ability to do larger jobs. Um, I use that one a lot to get the ladder off the roof because I have to get up to the roof on the van, obviously. 